What's good? What's good, man? Let's get into it. Two for one today, man, because the NBA starts tomorrow, and I wanted to get a little NBA video out there. I'm going to be covering the NBA a little bit more than I, what I was doing. Football started popping off, and I remember I did a LeBron James video, and I think another NBA video. I think I did the Dame to the Bucks video, which, you know, shout out to that. Uh, shout out to all you guys, man, for subbing, getting that LeBron James video to uh, 10K, most high, God is good. Uh, thank God for that, and, you know, in a distant two, uh, God's number one. In a distant two, uh, thank you guys for supporting that, liking that up, and giving me all the subs, man. But giving you another NBA video. But I was thinking, man. So, you know, LeBron James is probably, you know, still the most recognizable. He's still the face of the NBA. Whether he's whether you think he's number one or number 10, he's still the face of the NBA. But I think the second face of the NBA is Steph Curry. And I was going to do a video on Steph uh, a very controversial video on Steph uh, soon. Stay tuned and sub for that. But I want to say, is Steph Curry a top 10 player of all time? And I know people might be thinking, RJ, you're crazy, you're dumb, you're stupid, you're this, you're that, you're this. Let's think about it. Steph Curry is a two-time, he's a four-time champion. He's been to what, five or six finals. He's a finals MVP. He has a finals MVP. He should have two, but, you know, they gave it to Iguodala. Shout out to Iguodala for retiring, but, I mean, come on. Should be Steph's. And, you know, I mean, let's be for real. Steph Curry was just as the face of the NBA in the 2010s as LeBron was. When you think of the 2010s, of course you're going to think of LeBron, but you're also going to think of Steph Curry. Steph Curry was just as impactful to the 2010s as LeBron James was. So Steph Curry, top 10 of all time. Let's look at this way. So from number 10, you got Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, uh, Bill, Magic, Wilt, Larry, Eli uh, Tim, Kobe, Shaq. And number 11, I believe, uh, I don't know who number 11 is. I think that's Dr. J. And 12 is uh, Elijah Warren. Steph Curry's 13. This is ESPN. Let's look at this. He's not better than Jordan, of course. He's not better than LeBron. He's not better than Kareem. He's not better than Bill Russell. No, no. He's not better than... Now, here's the interesting question. Do you guys think Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time? Do you guys think uh, he's the greatest point guard of all time? Because people say, you know, uh, Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time. But when you think of point guard, when I think of point guard, I think of pure point guard. You know what I'm saying? I think of pure point guards, guys who pass, who can facilitate. And let's be for real. Draymond Green facilitates that offense. And now CP3 will be facilitating that offense. So when you think of Steph Curry, do you really think of point guard? Or is that just the label that they put him under? When I think of Steph, I think he's more of a shooting guard than a point guard. I mean, the guy runs around and shoots the ball anywhere from the floor. Of course, he can dribble, he can go between the legs, he can drive and stuff like that. But at the same time, Steph, you know, I mean, is he better than Magic as a point guard? But most importantly, is he better as a player? Who would you rather have, Magic or, or Steph Curry? I believe they're both very impactful. Me personally, I would take Magic on the simple fact Magic. You know, Magic is vastly underrated. Magic, you know, brought two – he – you know, and he went to the finals in the early 80s, the late 80s. And he even went to the finals against Jordan without with a washed up uh, James Worthy, no Kareem. And unfortunately, you know, he got that disease, which took him out. I don't think he's better than Will, even though Will flamed out a lot in the playoffs. Now, Steph Curry flamed out a lot in the playoffs, but Will, some of Will's playoff runs were oh, bad. Larry, I don't think he's better than Larry, even though it's close. He has more championships than Larry. I think the, I think he has one less MVP than Larry. I think Larry won three MVPs. Curry has two. Tim Duncan, I, I think Tim Duncan is the greatest power four ever. Now, here's the interesting one. You remember that video I was talking about earlier? You remember that video I was talking about earlier, about the controversial video I'm going to be making on Steph Curry? Are Kobe and – is Steph better than Kobe? 
I mean, listen, look, people. I know the Kobe stands are going to come in here. And be like, oh, no, he's not. You're stupid. You're dumb. Oh, no. Listen, listen. I look at it from this standpoint. Steph Curry has is just as impactful on the floor as Kobe Bryant. When Steph Curry gets hot, people are scared. When Kobe Bryant got hot, people got scared. But at the same time, who had I'm I'm gonna just ask this because I want to save this for the video. Who was more impactful in their finals? Was Steph Curry more impactful in his finals when he went to the finals? Or was Kobe Bryant more impactful in his finals when he went to the finals? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And we have the great Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Is Steph Curry better than Shaquille O'Neal? I think dominant wise, no. I mean, of course, uh, of course not. Shaquille O'Neal is probably one of the most probably besides Will Chamberlain. He's probably better besides Will Chamberlain. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the biggest dominant forces. He's one of the greatest dominant forces in NBA history. But at the same time, Steph Curry's longevity, Steph Curry's, you know, he has a better skill set than Shaq. Of course, he's a better shooter than Shaq. Uh, he has the same amount of titles as Shaq. He's been to more finals than Shaq. He has more MVPs than Shaq. Now, granted, Shaq should have more MVPs, but that's besides the point. And he's probably going to finish with more points than Shaq. And Steph Curry didn't leave as much as on the table than Shaq has. I think Shaq should have maybe two or three more championships, more points. Uh, he kind of got robbed out of the MVPs because, let's be for real, I mean, you know, does Steve Nash really deserve two MVPs? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. But, you know, can't really fall in for the MVPs, but on the same time, and Steph keeps himself in better shape than Shaq. Would you take if you were building the all around team? Would you rather have Steph Curry, a prime Steph Curry, or a prime Shaq? And you don't know who who was around them. I mean, I'm just saying we have to have these conversations. Whether you like Steph, dislike Steph, whatever the case may be, you have to give Steph his credit. You have to give Steph his credit. Steph Curry is one of the best players in the 2010s. When you think of, besides LeBron, you think of Steph Curry. He's revolutionized the game, whether it's for a good or bad reason. Like Steph Curry is probably maybe besides maybe Jordan and Iverson. He's one of the most influential uh, players in the NBA. One of the most impactful players, as in he made a culture change in the NBA. Just like Jordan, just like Allen Iverson. He made a culture change in the NBA. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. When Steph Curry, Steph Curry is a force to deal with on the um court. I think so. I think my boy Donnie told me, shout out to my boy Donnie. I don't know if he's watching this. I think my boy Donnie told me that Steph Curry runs like 50 miles an hour, 50 miles uh, per game or something like that. Steph Curry, you know, you have to give Steph Curry's credit. And I'm just saying, listen, look, I'm going to have a video on Joel Embiid. And I believe Joel Embiid is going to one or two teams, and I believe the Warriors can get Joel Embiid. If they win the championship, if Steph Curry gets another championship, especially if it's with another team, is he cracking that top 10 if he's not already in there? I think Steph Curry is a top 15 player of all time. Honestly, I think he's right there with Kobe, Dr. J, Oscar Robinson, Isaiah Thomas, and them boys. But is he going to crack the top 10? And here's my question, though. And I'm not saying this, but all the Steph Curry fans and all the Warrior fans, well, are you going to put him above LeBron James if he wins a title before LeBron? I don't think he's going to catch LeBron in MVPs because LeBron has four or five. I think he has four and Curry has two. But majority of those finals wins against came against LeBron. People can sit here and talk about KD this, KD that. I mean, KD hasn't done anything since he left Steph Curry. Steph Curry, Steph Curry has won a finals and won a final MVP. He's won a scoring title without KD. What has KD done? Went to the second round with the Nets. Went to the second round with the Suns. Got bounced in the first round by the uh, Celtics. We we can't keep ignoring Steph Curry, man. We can't keep ignoring him. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? What's your thoughts? This is not a verdict. Do I think Steph Curry is a top 10 player of all time? No. I think he's top 15. I think maybe if he gets another MVP, if he gets another championship, he's definitely cracking the top 10. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But what's your guys' thoughts? Because people don't talk. I know Steph Curry lost in the second round this year, so they really didn't do anything. But at the same time, I mean, you can never 
the Warriors are one of those teams where, you know, if everybody in the East has fallen, they're going to go to – if everybody in the East, if the Nuggets lose and if the Lakers lose, Warriors are going to go to the finals. They're definitely going to go. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? RJ out. Thank you.